CNN. Oops, I mentioned another network. I'm sorry. <laughs> But, you know, the point is, is that you, you, you turn on the news and you see war and all of these things are going on. And the we, economy. And the economy. We need to know that we can trust God because God is our source. Yes. Right? Not yes. the things, right? That's right. We've got to trust God and not what we see, not the circumstances. Well, i got to tell you something. I want to introduce you to a great couple we met just a little while ago, James and Ralphine Child. Now, they are anointed playwrights and they're a husband and wife team. They confront the lifestyle of a young woman who thought the grass was green on the other side through their book. And we'll find out more about this as we go on. Please welcome this dynamic couple as they share their ministry in the book and play, Don't Let the Devil Ride. Put your hands together right now for James and Ralphine Childs. So tell me, first of all, who are you guys? Where you come from and all that good stuff? Well, we're from Kingston, New York. Okay. Uh, the uh, small city. That's the first capital of this state, just ah, so that people know. See, a little didn't know that. history lesson for the day. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but we are in a ministry that's growing, and uh, we are putting to use the things that God has given to us. And we really feel that He's gifted us with a lot of things. We don't necessarily consider ourselves playwrights. Okay. Uh, I do. But, well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Well, <laughs> exactly. And, and what we're giving to God really is is uh, ministry. We're yeah. giving to Him through this play a means of being able to get the message out. Yeah. Uh, we were talking earlier and, and definitely want to realize that the method of how we bring that message out does need to change. The, the, the message is not going to change, Absolutely. but the method is going to. So mm -hmm. we have an opportunity through this play, Don't Let the Devil Ride, to really bring to people a message of salvation. And the fact is that we cannot give any place to the devil, because if we do so, not only will he want to ride, but he's going to actually want to take over the car and wow. drive. Yeah. So we're not going to give any place to him. And that play really does speak of uh, this young lady who has, has experienced a lot of things that many of us who have grown up in the church have experienced. Mm -hmm. uh, it's allowed us to be uh, to be able to look at that from a from a vantage point that that allows us to see that decisions that we make impact what our life, what happens in our life. I, I agree with you, and I and I particularly agree with you. Uh, my pastor teaches a principle. He says that we have to adjust to our culture without compromising our convictions. Mm. And I find that all across the land, Christians are finally getting it, that it's not just the hoop and the holla from the pulpit, but rather we are speaking a language to people in their own language or speaking in a language that people can understand, sort of like on the day of Pentecost. Right. Everybody can sort of understand arts mm -hmm. and, and, and movies mm -hmm. and, um, and uh, sit down get togethers, you know what I mean? And that's how God is doing it today and it's an exciting thing. So um, before we get into where we can uh, 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 find a play and, and where it's playing and stuff like that, tell me how you develop the concept of the play okay, well, and book. Um, and again, and I'll ask Ralphie to chime in here, you know, we actually almost 10 years ago, actually almost 11 years ago, yeah. sat down with a good friend of ours. I was still working at IBM at the time and was really trying to, through a particular song actually, allowed mm. us to have this concept of being able to see the realities uh, of heaven before time even began and mm. how Lucifer was kicked out of heaven because he was filled with pride and how he, in his quest to get as many people as possible to go to hell with him, wow. is attacking the people here on earth. And so that's kind of how the play starts, but it was through this particular song that we really allowed ourselves to, to start thinking about the possibilities of doing something dramatical yeah. and, 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 and uh, filled with theatrical kind of things. And I believe it allowed us to, to, to re create a basis for the play mm -hmm. that um, really kind of carries out a real fun, very active, you'll be laughing, you'll be crying. It's mm. a very, very uh, deep message in the play, but it's also one that's fun and interactive and, and it's very multimedia laden and we really have a lot of things that are in there, stomp and dance and, wow. um, you know, just again, humor. It's a really, really powerful play and it really does speak about the fact that we cannot give any place to the devil. But you know, an, an, another thing I like about the play, it's, um, it, it exposes the spiritual realities that, that exist. There's the prodigal son thing, okay. a daughter thing has been done several times, but this play is unique in that it exposes what the devil is doing to uh -huh, you. Uh -huh. I also have gone to Broadway or other plays and have enjoyed them, and some of them were quote unquote gospel plays, but you could tell that it's through a scripture here and through a scripture right. there, and it's not really, you know. Yeah. This play is fully based in the Word wow. of God. You will wow. leave there going, whoa, they sound, they got, you wow. know. Mm -hmm. You will really feel that 
you didn't just go to a play and they called it gospel and we just threw some scriptures in there. Okay. It is fully based in the Word of God. That's, I think that's very important what you said about it exposes what, where Satan was coming from in this or, you know, mm -hmm. because many times we get wrapped up into the actions of the people and not really why they're doing what they're doing mm -hmm. or what influenced their behavior and, yes. and things like that. And if your play is bringing that forth, mm -hmm. then the people that are going to watch it are going to kind of understand and maybe look in the mirror uh -huh. a bit and see their own selves and their own actions and kind of question themselves, do some introspection and have to go before God and say, you know, my motives on this were not, you know, all righteous or, you know, I'm, I'm seeking this or doing that, you know, for the wrong reasons. And uh, so it's, if it's ministering to the very core, yeah. then that's what we need in this body of Christ. You she know. got it. <laughs> <laughs> and, and from what I understand, it's multimedia. Mm -hmm. So this is not just some, you know, one little microphone and, and one light bulb. You know, you know how we used to do stuff. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> Y'all know how we used to do stuff. I do. And when you didn't have more, right. uh, mm -hmm. that, that was acceptable. But mm -hmm. in a day and time when there's so much to our access right. and the Lord has given to yep. us, I believe, gifts, yep. and these gifts oh, come... Yeah. Uh, and I believe that they come so that we can minister to people, not only in the body of Christ, but also evangelically. We can actually reach out and try to bring people to the Lord through this media of, uh, of multimedia and also this, this play. And, and again, it is something that we've worked on. We really try mm -hmm. to perfect our craft and okay. try to give to God perfection. And through that, I believe when people come, they'll be able to see something that really can be, could be on Broadway. Mm -hmm. And, you know, who knows what's mm -hmm. going to happen. Perhaps That's we'll be right. able to do that. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Now, how many people in the cast, and, and how large a cast are, you, are we dealing with here? It was approximately 40 people. In wow. Oh, that's wonderful. We have a core cast of about 40 folks, but when we travel to the different areas, mm -hmm. we allow those local churches to pull their folks in. So once Whoa. we put it all together, for example, there's a, like a mass choir that okay. is oh. comprised of the people in that community, and in this particular case, the Queens community. So it grows depending yeah. on the area we go yeah. to go to so it starts with 40 and it can go to upwards of 100 to 200 folks oh that's wonderful this is absolutely incredible so this is this is something that obviously people will be entertained by mm -hmm. absolutely. but but more importantly they're going to be ministered to mm -hmm. and they get a chance to participate yep. in which yep. will allow them to even feel more connection mm -hmm. with it and spread it with other to mm -hmm. others right. and all that's wonderful now where can we catch this play well, we're going to be at York College on May 10th, ah, okay. and uh, York College is on Guy Brewer Avenue there yep. in Jamaica, yep. and it's a beautiful facility. Yes. We've, we actually have two shows that we're going to do, uh, one at 3 p.m. and then one at 7 p.m., and, and that's going to be, again, May 10th. May 10th, okay. It's a Saturday before Mother's Day, great, ah. great Mother's Day gift. Oh, sure. absolutely. absolutely. Great Mother's Day absolutely. gift. Absolutely. <laughs> exactly. Ah. Okay. And so we're, you know, we're really looking to, to try to pack that place out. I think it holds about 1,500, so yep. maybe 3,000 people get, will get an opportunity to experience Don't Let the Devil Ride firsthand. Okay. And again, it, you know, it's something that I think will, people will be probably pleasantly surprised on the level of professionalism. And uh, there's a lot of original music. There's some music that we are using from other artists, but uh, Ralphine and I and some other artists have written a lot of the music that you'll be hearing that day. And again, as I mentioned, there is stomp and there's dance and, and uh, you know, the step team will be part of it. And it's just a, a wonderful, wonderful interaction for those that have been able to participate. Now, we got a little time here, so we're going to play around with that okay, stomp and okay. dance and stuff. You know, we're going to do something? No, no, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> but I want to talk about that, and I want to talk about how dance and media plays a part of ministry, because there is still um, a few of us out here, mm -hmm. a few of, not us, but because I don't believe that, but mm -hmm. there are some folks out there that, you no, know, dancing, no, no, not mm. God, yeah. not mm. God, you know. So I want to I wanna talk about that, and then we'll, I actually want to talk about the book and how the book actually came out of the play. But, but let's talk about that. Um, first of all, let's just cover this. How much are the tickets, and where can they find the tickets? Well, I think the best thing for them to do is to go to our website. Okay. And, uh, oh, the website okay. is www.dontlettedevilride. <laughs> dot com. No apostrophe, no spaces. Okay. All right. And th there's, a, there's a lot of information about the play, about okay. the book and other right. merchandise, and, and specifically about tickets. Excellent. And uh, th they can also, um, you know, basically buy tickets online if they'd like to do that. Okay. And again, the York College um, area in, in the Queens office, okay. Queens area, there'll be tickets uh, at, the, at the door okay, uh, that good. evening also. So, so they can't get online. They can at least come right. and know that on May 10th, next Saturday, mm -hmm. not tomorrow, but next Saturday, Correct. we're having two shows. Three and seven. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Now, let's talk about multimedia. 
let's talk about Christians dancing mm. and Christians stomping. Ah. <laughs> well, again, so I, what is that about? Look at the Psalms. Yep. I mean, that's yep. that to me is is a yep. is our guidebook. Yep. Um, I believe in a day and time where people are inundated with information yes. and, and imagery. You know, if you've ever watched MTV or maybe even turn a channel past MTV, uh, perhaps you've seen the fact that images come up every two to three seconds. Mm. And so our young people, who we really are gearing a lot of things towards, need to be able to relate in the same way they relate to everything else. Yes. Mm -hmm. Advertising, uh, you know, songs, music, video, we're trying to do that same thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm, I'm in the midst of doing my, my um, Masters of Divinity right now. Okay. And one of the things that I took, we, we took a course together actually on, on worship. And the fact is, our worship needs to be multi-sensory. Yes. Some yes. people learn, yes. and, and they learn because they hear. Some people learn because they see. Others learn because they do. We need, to, we need to really be able to put that in so that people aren't coming to our services as consumers, they're not coming as spectators, but they're coming and they're able to interact. And, th and through that, that participatory kind of interaction, I believe that they can, they can meet and experience God. I mean, God moves in a way that is incredible. And, and the fact that we're sitting here today and, 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 and Paul and Jan, they, they had the, the vision yes, of, yes, of using absolutely. multimedia to be able to reach the world. Yep. Yep. We've got to use it. Yep. Let's not give it to the devil. That's right. That's it, right. It's not his. He can't create anything. He can That's only take right. what God has and, and, and mess it up. Yeah. And I really do believe that God has created dance. He's created, yes. he's created music. And, and thankfully, our, our bishop, Bishop Gaylord, who is, is hosting this play in New York City, uh, the Church of God in Christ there, um, he, he really embraces this really uh, yeah. novel way of getting out and reaching people. And because of that kind of leadership and vision of utilizing you know, dance and stomp and multimedia, we're going to be able to do that in a way that I believe is going to be effective. Well, definitely, I agree with you. And I, I really, yeah, everything that you're saying everything. really just brings to light the principle that you can adjust to your culture without compromising mm -hmm. your conviction. Absolutely. Your conviction is to minister right. and to be able to expose and enlighten people so that they can come to God, know God, or even work for God, or just experience God even at a greater level. And many times the church operates in fear and, and closes down on the yeah. things that are available mm -hmm. to them. And therefore, they're not even going to use the vehicle mm -hmm. that's available to get out, to get the word out and minister to so many, to the masses, right. mm -hmm. you know, and Jesus wants us to minister to the masses mm -hmm. and to use the vehicle. The vehicle is not sin. Mm -hmm. It's That's not right. sinful, That's right. you know, right. the, the, so we've got to be able to go beyond the barriers and stop getting wrapped up in mm -hmm. fear. And, and I think it's wonderful. And, you know, uh, too many Christians, I think, are afraid when they see MTV. Oh, that sin. Oh, that's, oh, you know, look, there's lust and sin and mm -hmm. things going Hello. on that's not mm -hmm. just on MTV. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we get so kind of closed and boxed in. But I, I always encourage and, and appreciate and, and just continue to pray for your ministry to go forth and to do what God has called you to do. And don't, you know. Don't don't let the you know the church world can sometimes really you know <laughs> condemn us before anybody else does. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I think that I think that it's key to understand that um, becoming educated actually increases our paradigms. Mm. It really That's does. Right. The more we know, ignorance is a is a is a you know is very expensive. They talk about mm -hmm. education being <laughs> yeah. expensive. That's right. In ignorance is more expensive. Costs a lot. What you mm -hmm. don't know about your salvation. Mm -hmm. can cause you to stay bound. Absolutely. What you do not know about Jesus and the power that, 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 that we had, that, that is resident right. in us because of him can keep you bound. Mm -hmm. It can be the difference between, dare I get secular, it can, it can be the difference between getting a brand new car and having to buy a used one. That's true. It really can. Mm -hmm. it, it's really that tangible. Mm -hmm. you, you understand what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So I, 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 love, I love everything you're saying and I'll tell you something. Yes, we have to guard our eye gates and our ear Absolutely. gates and stuff like that. We understand that. But I wonder when the church as a whole will embrace the truth that greater is he that is on the inside of us mm -hmm. than he That's that is right. in the world. That's the right. world does not have more power than the power of God mm -hmm. that rests on the inside of us. Amen. Now, clearly, God calls people like you into ministry like right. that. Mm -hmm. Go ye into the go world. Go into all the world. Jesus said... The harvest is plenteous, yes. the labors are few. And then he said this very key thing. He said, pray, therefore, 
that the Lord of the harvest, God the Father, would send laborers into the, into the harvest, into the field. Mm -hmm. So God is actually looking for people that are going to do what you're doing. Mm -hmm. But I want to segue into the book now. That You say 10 years ago you guys developed the concept for the play. Mm -hmm. and or was it the book first? No, it was, the actually the it was the play, it was the play first, first, and then yeah. the book came mm -hmm. out. Okay. And then, and then what, what happened? How did the, why a book? When you, if you get the book, yeah. you still need to see the play. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you see the play. So one doesn't preclude the right. other. Right. Okay. Um, after putting the play together, I just c kept thinking of things that the play kind of leaves out or a okay. little more background information about the key characters and mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. So I developed the book so that to help people fill in the gaps. Okay. However, the book leaves you at a point that the play doesn't. <laughs> so it's like, well, I already got the book. I don't need to see the play. No, you only need to see the play too or <laughs> okay. vice versa. Mm -hmm. So they, the play, the book kind of developed the play. The play, um, we had the play, mm -hmm. but then the book kind of helped fill in the gaps that the play, play kind of left. Right now, the phone number and your website is on the screen. Actually, it just let, there it is. It's back mm -hmm. again. It's on the screen. Um, please write down that, that number. Mm -hmm. Obviously, remember the, um, the web address because uh, Marissa and I actually plan on being there um, next Saturday Good. and to support our brother and sister. Um, I was, you know, it's funny. I was online last night, and I was reading, um, I was on a Christian site where people post different um, topics and then people respond to them and so on and so forth. And someone actually had the audacity or the ignorance to say that, you know, we don't really need money. You know, we don't really need money in the gospel. So I guess since we don't need money, we're really not on TV right now. Oh. And um, <laughs> nobody's really watching us mm. because we don't need money. And you, you see how ridiculous that is. Yes. But we need to support you. We need to support the body and support what you are doing. This is no different from paying our tithes and offerings to our local church. Mm -hmm. What we are doing is paying tithes and or offerings into a parachurch ministry. It is the work of God. And as Jesus said once, you know, look at those disciples. Or the disciples said, look at those disciples. They're not following us. They're not doing what we're doing. Well, Jesus said, no, no, no. They're not against us. They're for us. And so let them do what they're doing unto the Lord. And you continue to do what you're doing unto the Lord. So we should support one another because yeah. all works that are of God need to be supported. We agree. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, certainly the, um, you know, I don't know if you wanted to say something. Off I was going to say, uh, listening to the gentleman sing the song before this, uh, the, the book was written during the time, and we're, as we know now, we're still sort of in war times. And, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Th we know there's a natural war going on. But more importantly, there's a spiritual war going on. Definitely. Yes. Underneath yes. all this stuff that's happening in Iraq, there's a spiritual war going on. Yes. So as saints, we don't want to just sit back and take the defensive and just be ready for what comes at us. We, we're strapping on our offensive yeah. uniform and going after the kingdom of God and getting God's folks, come on over, let's, you know, get as many people into the kingdom as we can yeah. as the time draws near. But we're taking on the offensive with this play. It's not about sitting back and waiting to see what the enemy's going to do. Right. We, right, we want to go out right, there and let right. the devil know, folks, don't let him ride. That's, that's right. right. That's right. And that's wonderful. You know, we have some prayer requests here. And, and what you were just saying about spiritual warfare, yes. it's, it's really consistent right with this uh, mm -hmm. prayer request. A gentleman by the name of Bill, he's a strong, committed believer, but he's grown hesitant due to some troubles in his church. Mm. Now, we were ministering, my wife and I sing, and we were ministering at a church out on Long Island last week. And one of the things that the uh, musical director said there, he said, if it's going to happen, it's going to happen in the church. Yes. In other words, folks get hurt. Yeah. And Bill, things happen. Things, um, things occur in the church, Bill. Um, usually they happen among people that love us the most or are supposed to love us the most. Mm -hmm. And because of our expectations of those individuals, because remember, disappointment is never based on what you find. It's based on what you expected to find. So we have expectations of each other as Christians. And when those expectations are not met, then we become discouraged. But I'm going to tell you something. Usually God allows situation. I didn't say he, he, he causes it. Right. But God allows us in those situations, Bill, to show us something either resident in ourselves or that he wants us to respond to in ministry. Mm -hmm. So follow God, follow God. Don't let it throw you, let it 
Grow you. Grow you. That's <laughs> good. Don't let it throw you. Let, let it, it grow, grow you. you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's where we, we've got to focus on. Yeah. Um, we're going to also pray for the Pennsylvania school mm -hmm. where the principal was shot and killed mm -hmm. and a 14-year-old mm -hmm. also died. And um, this person that called in says, what the devil is meant for evil, that God would turn for good. Yeah. And that's the thing. We've got to remember that God is in control. We can't understand what and the reasons why things happen, but we've got to put our trust and our faith in God that he is in control. And maybe somehow through the death of these two individuals and many more that may have been hurt or whatever, that God is going to get the ultimate glory, that somewhere down the line, the lives that these, these people have led or what they've stood for will somehow witness for God's glory and mm. there will be more to come to Christ based on this kind of sacrifice and, and horrible situation, you know, the, and so God will get the glory and it will work out for our good and, you know, we'll continue to pray for them. Yeah. And, um, you know, there are many, many prayer requests here that we want to pray about and we're just going to do that now for the last um, few seconds that we yeah, have. Yeah, we have a few minutes left. You know, we there's Michael here. He, he, he wants an encounter with Jesus mm. to give him a mountaintop experience. You know, it's all about Jesus. And um, Amen. Amen. James, about one minute. Yeah, about yeah. one minute. Pray. James, I'm going to ask you if you would lead us in prayer. Uh, maybe we'll just come together and just yeah. sort of touch these prayer requests as we possibly, as we possibly, can, possibly can. And James, why don't you just uh, take us to the throne? Dear Heavenly Father, we're grateful for just the ability to come to you as our daddy, our father, yes. one who cares about every aspect of our lives. Yes. And God, you know that there are many requests that are coming through the phone lines that people have in their heart they may not have been able to get through yet. Yes, but God, Lord. you can meet them at their needs. Yes. Lord, we know that you care about every facet of our lives. And the, the people that want to experience you, Lord, allow them to be able to experience you in a very real way. Touch Thank them you. even right now, yes. God. Thank you, Lord. Transcend time and space right now and meet them even where they are right now. Thank you. Lord, we're trusting Thank you, you and we know in faith that our prayers are answered. Yes. Hallelujah. No good thing will you withhold from us, God. Now, Lord, those that are looking for salvation, allow them to be able to meet Thank someone Jesus. that will be able to introduce them to you. Allow them even now as they're Thank hearing you. our prayer to be able to reach out and say, yes. God, I'm a sinner. Jesus. I accept the fact that you've died for me, yes, and Lord, I am saved. Yes, Lord. Lord, allow them to be able to reach out and be able to grasp a hold of you. Yes. Now, Lord, again, for those that need healing, we ask for your blessings, and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you so much for being yes. with us today. What an incredible ministry you guys have, and uh, God willing, we're going to see you next Saturday. Hope so. Okay. All right? Mm -hmm. so thank you. Thank you. Hopefully, we'll see you guys next Saturday as well. Well, right now, Ray Tilkins comes back with us again, and he's singing... Thank you, Lord.